very proud of our local government and the fact that we have taxed ourselves and built the uh, protective levies. But when you look, as you, you may, many of you may have seen uh, today, to the south of those levees, the marsh is deteriorating at a very rapid rate. And it's very alarming to those of us who call this place home. These are good images of where we're going to walk. And even the trees that did survive, like this live oak up here on the left, you can see how poor the shape it's in because the stress level is just too high. In Louisiana, there is a strong master plan concept, but they are going to spend the dollars they get for very large projects, such as a diversion of the Mississippi River. Terrebonne Parish has taxed their local citizens to build a protective wall or levee system. What the projects that BHP and RES and America's Wetland Foundation are supporting will do is make sure that those local levees are supported by healthy wetlands. studies, UNO has done some, LSU, Tulane, and it's shown that as the storm surge begins, it hits the trees and it, back, it slows it down significantly. But now that the trees are dead, the storm surge is going to move further inland before it starts hitting any, any resistance. So the process here is going to be to build it back up to what it once was. All the stumps, uh, Peggy was asking how many trees we're going to have total and how far apart they're going to be spaced, but you can see how the stumps are, and there's a bunch more underwater you can't even see. It used to be a solid forest. So the terrace that'll be on this inside piece is going to be the widest part and we're going to put as many trees as we can on. I think the total for both projects is 30,000? 30, 30, 35. Mm -hmm. 35. What we're seeing is corporations today are really concerned about our environment and it's great to see a company like BHP out here being the leader. We're willing to help put good programs together with the community, help restore our coast and make Louisiana better. One of the opportunities that comes from holding these leadership forums is that we get ahead of the issues. This particular area has become more resilient over time. Uh, the adaptation is how you then take action based on a resiliency being established. So how will you adapt? Will you be able to live in this area? What is the economy going to be in the future? Uh, what kind of jobs will be in the future ecosystem restoration economy? We recently awarded the first lock system in Terrebonne. We talked about the sacrifices the people of Terrebonne had made to ensure the protection we must have in place. For us, we, we, all our shore base operations go through Port Fouchon. Um, we have our warehouse, we have offices in Homa. So we, we do also feel we're, we're part of the community as well. So when we start to understand what's going on locally and, and how we can be a part of that, for us is a clear business case to be part of a, a better future and a sustained future. Being able to create uh, innovative solutions and partner with NGOs and with, uh, with private enterprise to make investments in complementary projects that restore the coastline uh, and that rebuild our wetlands uh, are, are what is going to eventually uh, make all of our communities safer. Private business understands risk. We understand implementation and we understand time frames and getting things done. And lastly, we really understand long-term operating costs that goes into stewardship. The most important aspect about engaging in private-public partnerships is the, the fact that it provides and expands opportunities to get the projects on the ground quicker, more efficiently, and more importantly for the benefit of the ecosystem and the people that depend on them. We're beneficiaries of these resources that are all over the world and that's where we've chosen to do business. And part of that, there, there comes a responsibility with that, a social responsibility. We're also very aware um, that we need a license to operate in these regions. We need to be able to demonstrate that we are responsible, that we are going to be good stewards. We, we link a lot of our biodiversity and climate change and such type targets to what the United Nations are doing and, and where they want to go. And we see ourselves as an organization as one of being part of that better future. And this is, you know, this is a way for us to contribute and be part of that. It helps them also think about their global footprint 
act local, local, think global. And so we're helping them address things that are important to them as a company, certain key performance indicators of air, water, biodiversity, and that community involvement. So it'll go from putting Mother Nature back into the ground with all those elements to right on down to local community planting events. It gives hope to these folks in Terrebonne Parish that they can go forward and look toward future generations to live in the place as though they grew up. It's, it's the inverse of the tragedy of commons. It is, it takes a village to raise a child type of things. It takes all of us to get together and start to address issues like resiliency, like ecological sustainability.